let's look at blocks blocks are available in edit blocks what does block do well basically blocks are used in two cases one if you have any repetitive material repetitive object it is better to use blocks secondly it will also bring down your file size drastically for example let's take a window okay so i'm taking a maybe just a rectangle and in this rectangle i'm taking a slab to give it a thickness i'm in the wrong viewport so i'm going to select it say transform orient remap to construction plane front view yes this is where i want i can afford to have this slightly thicker i'm creating another box out here using a three point to create a glass in between this object also is going to become one of my blocks let me remove the grid snap place it the way i would want it and i'm going to have an array of this so let me say array linear type and maybe 10 items yes look fine i'm selecting i'm placing it where i would want it to be control s let's go into and save it as a window i want you to observe the file size here it's 224 kb now i'm going to remove all this Save it again. It's come down slightly. That's fine. Let us take this object. And in this object, I'm going to use blocks. How do I create a block? It's to, let me escape and not select something. I have to say create block definition. So if I select this one only object for the moment, enter when done. I have to choose a block base point. So I'm going to say midpoint of this. I'm going to call this glass. Okay. Now I'm going to be doing the same array linear which I had done earlier for 10 items. First reference point, second reference point. Control S. And you see. That the file size has marginally gone up. Not much. Let us select the entire thing. Group it. And I am making array linear of this too. 10 items is fine. First reference point. Second reference point. Control S. And you will see my file size has jumped up to 714 KB. Let me undo this. Control S. It's back to 209 KB. I'm going to take this copy and I'm going to create a newer block instance. Selecting this, enter. Base point, let me take it as 0, enter. I'm going to call this window. If I want to change the name, I can go into block manager. And I want to change the properties of this. I'm going to call this block under window block. Okay. Close. So I have a window block here. And I have in the window block another block called as glass. If I were to now do array linear. 10 items exactly like before. Control S. Please observe the file size. It did not jump up to 700 and something KB. It is just 219 KB. Why? 
because all these are just block instances. Let's say I want to use this block instance in some other file. I am doing undo, control S. I am keeping it only to one object for the moment. Let's now insert, select that window. I have over here three options. Embedded, embedded and linked and linked. Embedded means that definition, those block definitions are going to be embedded in my newer file with no reference to the previous file. If I say linked, then I get the option of active or reference, which means that if there is any change at that end, this file will automatically be updated if it is active. The layer style is as the word mentions, it's style. If I use embedded and linked, then I get the option of deciding in this file whether I want to update it or not. By default, I'm right now keeping it embedded and linked. I'm going to call it window and I'm going to say, okay, let's choose whether I want it as individual blocks, individual objects, groups or block instance. Obviously, I'm taking it in as a block instance because that's what I want to show you. I can choose the insertion point or I can say load from. I can choose to scale it or not and rotate. Let's bring it here. If you observe, even the curves which I must have hidden are seen out here. So, I want to go back. I cannot edit them, remember, because it's a block instance. So, I want to go back here and delete those curves. If I go into hide and I say select curves, delete, control S, over here I have the block but it is not updated. It will not be updated until I go into the block manager and here it is telling me that this window is a newer file. Do you want to update it? So I can choose to update it. You can always update it if required. You can say prompt when update required. You can say never update. These are all options that you decide. So if I say update it's got updated and here you no longer see the curves right now if i say control s and let's call this building okay so it's 213 kb only and even if i make array linear maybe 20 times control s it's still not going to go beyond 222 kb if I want to make any changes, I need to decide whether I want to change it in this file or that. If I wanted to do it only in this file, then it means the object, the block will get embedded in this file only. The original will not be changed. Let us do that. So I'm going in for block edit. When I say block edit, it's also available here. Edit block in place. It will give me two options. Launch another Rhino to edit it or embed the definition inside this. That means there will be permanent unlink of the original. I'm going to say okay. I'm okay with it. I got my block edit. In the block edit, I get to choose what is inside. So I have the entire block or I can select the individual objects see entire block or individual glasses if i take any one glass so you can see i can select it let me go and change just the material of it so i'm saying use a new glass material sorry glass material and let me give it a color so that it's a little too prominent And the moment I say I am done, you will observe that all the respective objects have turned into the glass material. Because these were also blocks. If I do go and change the material itself, 
let me cancel it if i go and change if i want to modify it further i still need to go into block edit only so that i can select it if i wanted the ior further or in case i don't want the glass but i want a default with some other color and i'm saying okay this is just for visibility say you'll see that everything has changed control s it may be just 302 kb but my original has not changed so this is how you can use blocks effectively for two reasons one you modify one the rest are modified two it brings down your file size drastically for reused objects otherwise each of this would have become an individual poly surface increasing the size if it is an instance you don't have to worry